So this is rosemary from a sprig. You can just break it with your fingers and then you can grab it and rip the, uh, the bottom parts off. The part where you broke it, you can shove it into the moist soil. That's good after rain to plant because that's when the soil is moist and soft and easy to dig in. Uh, when it's many months of drought, the soil is usually hard and it's hard to dig and then it's hard to get something rooting. Uh, you have to really water it a lot. Um, but I put all these wires and stuff here to try to give people the idea not to walk through here, not to just come uh, blindly, unconsciously stumbling through here. And um, see, rosemary is good because it's green when you start, you plant it green. Same with jade. See, I put them in a circle. All these sticks and rocks and other plants go in a circle around the preferred fruit trees. Because sometimes if they're just plant, like this avocado would have taken three or four or five months uh, just to stick its first little bit of stem and leaf above the soil level. So it's good to kind of mark the area where you plant it with a circle of rocks, circle of sticks, circle of rosemary, jade, fennel, whatever, you know, other plants and things so that people get the idea, water the rosemary, water the jade. They may or may not even realize that inside there's a circle, I mean, inside the circle of other plants that are green all the time, there's the, uh, the baby uh, avocado or loquat or sapote seed, which you always, after you eat the fruit, you know, use your hands in pure water, uh, any water, to rinse off the food particles. Um, so animals won't want to dig it up by smelling it. And see, some people say weeds, but I think it's all fine. You know, like something like this ends up growing quite tall. Some people say to me, but I think it might be edible if you steam it. Some people can learn and share knowledge, what's edible, what's medicinal, how to prepare it. But even if this grows, it's still photosynthesized. Anything green photosynthesized, and it holds the soil from erosion. I don't think it's good to go in a mad frenzy pulling weeds and exposing the bare soil to erosion through wind or watering or, or rainfall. Um, humans have only been around on this planet for what, a couple hundred thousand years. Trees have been around for millions of years. So trees never needed humans to prune them, cut them, kill them, mow them down, destroy them, clear cut them, prune them, cut them, uh, alter them. And it's not good to top the trees. You know, just let them grow tall. They'll, they'll thicken up later on. But if you top them, you basically mess them up. Learn about it. You know, all over the internet, you can do keyword searches. Uh, and if you want to help me in uh, the Cal Southern California coast come to uh, uh, Santa Monica Pier on heat wave days, come be uh, an actor in Hollywood or an actress in Hollywood and call my voicemail 831-425-3334 and email me pureveganstar at yahoo.com, purevegan.star at gmail.com uh, and Lord Little Star Liberty Laughter Life at yahoo.com. Laughter, L-A-F-T-E-R. Uh, because it's a plan where it's like laughter, ha ha ha, but also the afterlife. Lord, little star, liberty is all spelled correctly. And then laughter, Lord, little star, liberty, laughter life is L-A-F-T-E-R, and then life is spelled correctly. Because it's a play on words like laughter, ha ha, but also in the afterlife. Because heaven, I look forward to heaven. Nobody killing trees in heaven. Heaven is like a spring. Like, here, come look at this fence. 